It's been a while since I've done any clips around home automation, so I thought I'd do one on a project I did about six months ago, primarily around lighting the pantry cupboard, but also just playing a sound effect every time you open the door. Um, so it consists of uh, basically two devices uh, plus an LED strip. There's uh, AOTech um, door sensor that's used when the door opens to trigger an event. Uh, and then the second one is a Fabaro RGBW controller as well, which is used to control the strip. The actual RGBW LED strip is probably overkill and really it's a, I guess it's a solution looking for a problem in this case, certainly for a pantry. Um, having a green or a red light or any, any other color for that matter in your pantry really doesn't help and in fact it makes it quite hard to read the products on the shelf. So if I was to do it again I probably wouldn't bother. Um, but in order to make use of that what I've done in this case is I've uh, made an event based on the temperature in the room. So as you open the door, uh, if it's cold it goes blue uh, briefly before going back to white. If it's hot it goes red and if it's in the comfortable temperature zone then it's green so in some ways when you open the, the, the cupboard you can find out whether the room's cold or hot but again equally you can tell it yourself just by standing here. Um, so in short here's how it all works. Uh, up the top on the back of this is uh, uh, just the AOTech door sensor so as I open it you'll see the little sensor here and the second part on the door so it's hidden until you open it and then in the, the cupboard itself is the LED strip. It's on each of the shelves that I've got underneath here. Um, it's just stuck on. Um, I did have some problems with the adhesive um, that came with the strips. So the first problem is, is when they're on for any extended period of time, they do get warm. And it seems that that warmth makes the uh, adhesive a little less sticky. Um, so I kept on finding that they fell off. So you could put clips on it would be one way. In this case, I've just used a hot glue gun uh, just to give it some added support. And that's that's done the trick since there. Um, and also just going in behind the bread bin. Then we've got a power supply. I was lucky enough to already have a, a power outlet in my cupboard. I've got no idea what they were using it for. Maybe a phone, but uh, that was already there. And there's the Fabaro relay. So effectively, based on the door opening, um, it, it fires off two events. The first event is for a little squealy pig sound that you may have heard in the background. I'll just do that again. Um, and then the second one is to change the light. Um, the hardest part was with the LEDs themselves, the strips, you can buy clips um, it's kind of 90 degree bend clips that you just clip in place, you don't have to solder. They were useless. Um, I ended up just going through and soldering all them in, so I ended up taking the soldering iron into the cupboard, um, sort of, and a, and a little, made a little workbench there, and then and, and put it all in there reasonably permanently. So you can try it if you want, but like I had no luck with those, so I found actually hard wiring uh, the LEDs together uh, made it a, a much better outcome. So if you knocked it with a a box when you're putting things in shelves then you didn't have to worry about one of your colours or, or parts of the strips not working. Anyway, that's how it works. Um, thanks very much for listening.